Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about Brazil plans to almost double their existing fleet of Jazz 39 Gripen multi-role fighter jets. Since 2014, the Brazilian Air Force has ordered a total of 40 Jazz 39. The total contracts are worth $5.04 billion, with the last batch of delivery expected until 2027. Now they will order additional 34 Gripen fighter jets. Part of the agreement is that almost half of fighter jets would be locally assembled at Embraer's factory in the state of Sao Paulo. The deal also included a technology sharing agreement between Brazilian engineers and Saab. This is part of the total $10.6 billion invested by the Brazilian government to purchase military equipment that also includes nine medium-sized twin-engine transport aircraft like KC-390 produced by Embraer along with the development of a refueling version of the model, and also convert their two Airbus A330 aircraft into aeromedical and aerial refueling planes. This is part of the Growth Acceleration Program, or PAC. It was established by President Luis Inacio Lula da Silva. The PAC-guided programs were started during his first two terms in office, which lasted from 2002 to 2010. Now he's back as a Brazilian president for his third term. Currently, Brazil has only received six Jazz 39 Gripen fighter jet, while the four has already entered active service. Aside from its origin country of Sweden, five other countries operates the Gripen fighter aircraft, which include Brazil, South Africa, Hungary, Czech Republic, and Thailand. The Jazz 39 avionics are fully integrated by using MIL STD 1535B digital sensor fusion. The Gripen is designed to work as one component, which allows automatic exchange of information in real time between aircraft and the ground components. This can be achieved using a highly advanced data link system, air data computers, radar altimeter, and GPS to continuously calculate the Gripen's location. The Gripen first entered service using the PS05A Pulse Doppler X-Band Radar developed by Ericsson and GEC Macroni Group. It's an all-weather radar capable of detecting and identifying targets from 120 kilometers away. It can automatically track target from both high and low. It also is capable of guiding several beyond visual range missiles. But the latest Gripen variant of ENF will use a new ASA radar. This increased the Gripen's high-altitude air-to-air detection range by 150% and up to 140% for low-altitude targets. This allows the aircraft to carry air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles more effectively like the AIM-120CM Ram, the AIM-9X Sidewinder, and the MBDA Meteor. The aircraft would also be equipped with newer infrared track and surge or IRST sensors. For countermeasure, the Gripen has electronic warfare from Thale Spectra to counter threats from almost any type of missile, infrared homing, radar homing, or terminally guided missiles. It has also that standard eject flares countermeasure system. The cockpit has digital display and hands-on throttle and stick, and the aircraft is powered by one Volvo RM12 turbofan engine with 80 to 93 kilonewton of thrust or up to 21,000 pounds. The jet has a maximum speed of Mach 2 or 2,100 kilometers per hour, combat range of 800 kilometers, ferry range of 3,200 kilometers, G limit of plus nine, service ceiling of 50,000 feet, a maximum takeoff weight of 16,500 kilograms, and it's also equipped with one 27mm PK-27 Mauser revolver cannon with 120 rounds. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.